What's going on guys, it's your boy T-Man and I'm back with another YouTube video. This particular shoe is with the model using one flash setup. So, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. And what I want you all to do for me, I want you all to leave comments and subscribe. Let me know if you want Ross to this photo shoot. If you want Ross to this photo shoot, just leave me comments, subscribe, and let me know that you would like to have Rawls today. Um, once you get those, then you can reach out to me on social media, and I can get those and give you a shout out. Okay, now into the shoot. So the first thing that I'm doing is warming up my model with few natural light shots always good to get your model prepped up and ready to shoot nice and comfortable and get them you know a couple compliments to get the mood set with the shoot shortly after that i'll start using my light good. setup um i have another light also that i use at the end which yeah, creates the shots that i'm going to get into once we get to that point as well but overall, this shoot was amazing. Yeah. So here, I actually started setting up the first flash, my Godot 21 inch soft box. And I wanted to show that, you know, you kind of look by eye at your photo to adjust the power setting of the flash. When I first set the flash, you can see that on the model's face that the flash is too bright. So you take a look and you can see with your eyes that that's too bright. So what I do is go down about two stops of light down to, um, I think, yeah, one fourth. And then now look at that difference right there. So it's all about looking at the eye and kind of feeling that's too bright, you know, and you can make that determination after you get there yeah, right there. practice working with all the convertibles. Now, if you take a look at my setup, I do have an 8200 that has high speed set, so I don't have to worry about the shutter speed going over 1 over 250. But I also have a young dual flash that I'm using in this current setup right here that does not have high speed sync. So if you look at my settings, 1 over 200, I have to stay at 1 over 200 to 1 over 250, or else the flash will not sync. We about to have some fire. <laughs> I think we about to have some fire. Ladies and gentlemen. So I, I basically have my young newel flash on uh, and the transmitter for that and the transmitter for the Godox. So I got, I got a lot going on right here. Okay, so here I'm testing out my first setup with the creative shot. I have a 7 inch reflector on my AD200 and I have a trigger on my camera. And I'm testing it out to see you know, what kind of creativeness I can get with this shot. And here, it's pretty nice, but the red flash is a little bit too bright, so I go back and readjust my settings so I can get a more dramatic look. And so here, you can see more of the red light like taking one. over, which is what yeah. I wanted in the background. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe you can do something. In this particular yeah. shot, I want And I just got a very, very nice shot with the red flash. And I mean, if it was up to me, I, I would have just kept using the red light. I mean, you can see 
is just such a great dramatic grungy type look and feel All right, so we're gonna get a creative shot with some depth. So you can stand right here. Yeah. This. All right. So I'm setting the exposure for outside since it's brighter, and then I got the flash to pop her out so that you can see the outside, but also she's lit up. So. Okay. 